If you guys enjoy what I do, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it's free and easy to do. Before we get started with today's video, I have an announcement to make. After years of telling other people's stories, I finally released one of my own. My novel Eternal Rain is available now in both ebook and paperback format for those of you who are like me and prefer to collect physical media. You can grab a copy right now on Amazon through the link in the description of this video. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. The next time the Warrior of Light runs into Jehantel, the old bard lets her know that Sanson's proposal to form a unit that has bards in it finally got approved and he's building a team for his first mission at this very moment. When Sanson told him about this, he also said he wanted to ask the Warrior Light for a favor. It's pretty obvious what that favor is, so the two of you head off to Gridania to meet up with him. As a surprise to no one, Sanson wanted you to join his team for their first mission, since the main thing they're missing is experience. He has Gidolo getting transferred to the squad too, and between the three of you, any mission should be pretty easy to accomplish, which will prove that it wasn't a mistake to add bards to the ranks. Jahantel wants this little endeavor to succeed too, so you agree to join up and you head off with Sanson to get your first orders. The twin adders are happy to have the Warrior of Light on board since your help was the main reason why Sanson's last mission turned out well. The adders have gotten an anonymous letter that makes some claims that aren't exactly popular and they want Sanson and his new squad to find out how true they are. There is a book that is said to have some secrets about the Autumn War and the person who wrote the letter is offering to give it to the adders if they send their best soldiers to meet with him. The Autumn War was one that happened a hundred years ago between Gridania and Alamigo, so Sanson doesn't really see how any news about it would matter all that much outside of a history class. But the higher ups think that this could be important so they don't want to ignore the letter, especially since the Twin Adders are involved with helping free Alamigo. Some Gridanian citizens don't think they should be helping Alamigo at all. They still see Alamigo as their enemy since a war fought only a hundred years ago isn't that easy to forget. So if anything comes out that could be used to reignite the anger from that war and more citizens, it could lead to people attacking the already weakened Alamegans. So you, Sanson, and Gidilo, who shows up late and complaining as to be expected, are ordered to keep whatever this anonymous person has found from going public. So the three of you head off to the Nine Eyes to meet this mysterious individual. The man who sent the letter is called Norval, and while what he said was true, he doesn't actually have the book that he was talking about. He knows it exists because one of his ancestors fought in the Autumn War, and he learned about it after all of the fighting had stopped. Norval learned about it from his parents, and he always dreamed of finding it, but since the book is somewhere in Alamigo, before recently going to look for it would have been a good way to get dead. Now that Belsar's wall has fallen, there's a safe way into Alamigo, and he can go on the hunt for the book. The only problem is, just because there's a safe way in doesn't mean Alamigo is safe, and since he's not a soldier, going exploring will either see him getting murdered or eaten. That's why he reached out to the Adders. He needed help on his hunt, and since Gridania would benefit from the information, he figured getting help from the Adders was the best way to go. Sanson doesn't like the fact that Norval is basically holding his knowledge hostage if you don't take him with you, but neither Gidolo nor the Warrior of Light care all that much, so once Norval agrees to follow all of Sanson's orders, you all head to Castrum Orans out in Alamigo to get ready for your hunt. When you all get there, Sanson wants to get the hunt underway immediately, but Norval thinks it'll be a good idea to get a feel for the area before you all just rush off to uncharted territory. It won't be hard for Sanson to get permission to keep his squad at the base, and while he does that, Gidolo does what he does best, and that's going around getting information of varying degrees of usefulness out of the people. It takes almost no time for Sanson to get annoyed with Norval. Granted, he gets annoyed by pretty much anybody, but the fact that he thinks the new guy is more annoying than Gidolo says a lot. In the short time that you've all been at the Castrum, Norval has annoyed pretty much every soldier in the area by asking them a thousand questions and trying to get any info he can on the location of this long lost book. Gidolo has been doing his usual mingling, which means he's probably learned something useful, so Sansa sends you to track him down while he keeps Norval out of trouble. Gidolo has learned a bit, but he's still sifting through the more important bits, so he's not ready to give his report yet. But he does have something that you can help him with. There have been some bandit attacks in the area, and they're attacking everyone from regular citizens to full-on soldiers. The other day, they attacked a whole squad that was on patrol. A Twin Adder scout is late checking in, and Gidolo thinks he might have had a run-in with the bandits, so he wants you to go out and hunt for the guy. He would go himself, but he doesn't want to get that far away from Norval, since the man has been acting odd since you all got to the Castrum. The Warrior of Light finds the scout in the middle of getting attacked by the bandits. After she makes sure they won't bother anyone else, the scout lets you know that the bandits didn't just accidentally bump into him. They seem to know what route his patrol would take despite the fact that the adders change their routes every day. The bandits seem to be trying to keep him and his patrol from going somewhere which is news that he needs to share with his bosses, and some news that you should probably share with Sanson and the others. 
Sansa's not exactly happy to hear that Gidolo sent you off to deal with the bandits alone, sticking to his theme of being mad about pretty much everything. Gidolo doesn't care as usual, and he also makes it pretty clear that he doesn't trust Norval, especially since it's clear that the man's hiding information from you all, despite the fact that you're all supposed to be working together. He hasn't even told any of you exactly what you're supposed to be looking for yet. The man finally decides to share a bit of information once Sansen points this out. The book is supposed to be in a place linked to Gilbarde, the general who led the Alamegan army during the Autumn War. That's an interesting coincidence since the masked bandits have been attacking people most frequently around the area known as the Schism, a place that's devoted to the Fist of Rogar, which Gilbarde worshipped. The bandits might be after the same book that you all want. Since that's a real possibility, Norval thinks you all should speed up your search, and he heads off to ask more questions, despite the fact that Sansan told him not to. Gidolo wanted the man to go anyway because he needed to talk to the Warrior of Light and Sansan alone. Apparently some soldiers have seen Norval sneaking out of the camp without telling any of you. The man is plotting something and Gidolo thinks that it has something to do with the bandits. Instead of confronting him, Sansan wants to let the man keep doing what he's doing so you all can follow him. Now that they know that Norval is up to something, Sansan starts to notice that he's actively trying to keep you all from heading out to look for the book. It's almost like he just wanted you all to help him get to Alamigo then he could ditch you. So far none of you have been able to figure out where he's sneaking off to and those bandit attacks on the Alliance patrols are starting to get worse. The fact that they always know where to strike proves that someone is feeding them information, and that someone is probably normal. Since they couldn't find out where he was going, Gidolo and Sansa started watching him so closely that he stopped having chances to sneak away. They figured that would make him sloppy the next time he had a chance, and to make him take that risk sooner, they want you to give the man some false but believable information. They want you to tell him that Sansan got called into a meeting, and Gidolo got so drunk that he can't see straight. They figure Norval will take that opportunity to sneak away, giving the three of you a chance to follow him to wherever he's going. The plan works perfectly and the three of you follow the man to some ruins where you catch him talking to some bandits. The bandits are working for him and they found Gilbarde's journal. Norval's plan is to bring it back to Gridania and spread the knowledge to the public. Apparently what it says is so bad that he thinks it'll make Gridania stop supporting Alamigo. The secret has something to do with Vanchalon, the general who led the Gridanian forces in the Autumn War before he got sick and died, which nearly made Gridania lose the war. Seeing as how Norval and his people are trying to start up a new war with Alamigo, you all attack him and interrupt his plans. His group of bandits were of course no match for you, and in the fighting Norval drops the journal. He's fine with you all reading it so you can learn the truth about what really happened to Vangelon, and once you do you'll see that the Alamegans don't deserve help. Because none of you make the smart decision to finish him off, Norval gets away, but not before letting you know that he's related to Vangelon. Once you read the book it starts to make sense why the man isn't all that fond of Alamegans. During the Autumn War, Vangelon had set up a peace talk with Gilbarde. The man accepted then poisoned the general while he was off guard, which disproves the fact that he died of an illness. If it comes out that one of Gridania's greatest heroes died of poison in a peace talk, the war really might start back up. Sansa's too honest for his own good so he thinks the people have a right to know the truth, but he knows that if he turns the book in his superiors will bury the thing to prevent a war. Then again they might use it to blackmail the Alamegans because no political situation is complete without someone doing something underhanded. Since Sansan is in charge it's up to him whether or not you all turn in the book and he decides what to do by the time you all get back to the Castrum. The journal says that one of Vangelon's sons, Landronel, was at the meeting too, and he managed to survive. For some reason he kept the murder a secret and spread the lie that his dad died of a sickness. The fact that the man's son hid the murder to save the two nations makes it clear that just releasing the journal to the public is not the right thing to do, but keeping it secret isn't right either. So Sansan decides to turn the journal into the Adders but with the stipulation that they will reveal the truth one day. That's cute and naive because what would actually happen is he'd turn the book in, make his demand, then he'd suddenly be found dead from three self-inflicted arrow wounds to the back of his head. Before you all get to head off and do what in the real world would be signing up to end your own lives, an adder shows up to give you all a letter that came from Norval. He wants to talk to the Warrior of Light alone before you all run off with the journal. It sounds like an obvious trap, but setting a trap for the Warrior of Light is probably the easiest way to get yourself killed so Sansan doesn't see any reason to stop you from going. When you get to the meeting spot you do get attacked by some of Norval's people because they aren't exactly smart, so you put an arrow in each of them before heading back only to find that Sansan is gone. Not long after you left a new letter came saying for him to come with you, so he decided to follow you. The fact that he was dumb enough to do that instead of realizing that the first letter was meant to distract you while they took him makes him seem like even more of an idiot, and it doesn't say much for Gidolo's intelligence either. 
The two of you go to try and find him, but all you find is his book and a message left in blood, saying that he's been taken, and they'll send a message to the Ather's Nest telling them what it'll cost to get him back. Normally, you just attack their base and slaughter everyone to get your friend back, but since neither of you know where it is, you head back to Gridania to let the Adders know what happened. Gidolo tells them everything, but he keeps the journal which they aren't exactly happy about, but he's pretty sure that if he handed it over, the Adders would let Norval kill Sansen to get him out of the way. He's definitely right about that, so all that's left to do is wait for Norval's demands to get there. What he wants is obvious. He'll free Sansen once you release the journal's contents to the public. The higher ups refuse the demands immediately and send out an order to kill Norval and his people. Gridania doesn't negotiate with terrorists, so they're pretty much abandoning Sansen. Gidolo isn't happy with the order, and since Connie Senna had no hand in giving those orders, Sansen's commanding officer isn't planning on following them anyway. He's already asked the Lancer and Archer Gills for help in finding Sansen so you can mount a rescue. He sends Gidolo off to let Giantel know what happened, and not long after that, word comes in that Norval and the others have been found in the Twelves Wood near Alder Springs. So you all rush off to save Sansen. The Archers and Lancers deal with Norval's sentries while you and Gidolo attack the man himself. Once you finish beating him, because that was obviously what was going to happen, he tries to run away. Since he's surrounded, that doesn't work. Even though he's been beaten, he still can't understand why you would all protect Alamigo after what they did to Gridania. But what Norval didn't realize is that Vangelon's main goal was peace at all costs. Something Jehantel knows personally since he's old enough to have met the man's son, who had seen his father murdered and decided to keep it a secret. If the truth had come out, the war between the two nations wouldn't have stopped without becoming much more bloody. So to honor his father's wishes, Landronel kept the secret. Norval feels pretty bad about the fact that this bit of information pretty much invalidates everything he worked his whole life to accomplish. But Sansen still thinks the world should know the truth, and he vows to reveal it in a way that won't start a war. That way Vangelon's sacrifice won't have been a waste. Norval accepts this, not like he has much of a choice since he's definitely going to jail. But since it's all done, you all head back to Gridania where Sansen turns over the journal after getting a promise that the information will be released one day. Pretty sure he won't live to see that day, but for now all he can do is wait and see. This concludes the Stormblood portion of the Bard storyline. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, comment, share it, and subscribe. Donate to the channel if you can, and I'll see you all next time.